Hey there hikers, good morning, good morning. Almost New Year's here from sunny, hot, I mean cold and snowy and very cold Arizona. Uh, this is Paul. Good morning Paul. Paul's my friend from college. We're over here sightseeing before we do some hiking. The plan for today is we're heading up to Page, Arizona to see, what are we seeing Paul? We're seeing you Ben. The Horseshoe Bend. So we're gonna go see that and a few other sites along the way. They're not really hikes, but hey, do a little sightseeing around Page, give you uh, some insight on what you can see if you wanna check out Northern Arizona. And we don't have an ice scraper because why would they give us an ice scraper in Arizona? So we're just waiting here for the car to heat up and then we'll be on our way. And so we'll see you on the road. Editor Adam here. Now I have to tell you, the original way we were gonna go to go to Page, Arizona ended up being snowed in and closed. So we were not able to go that way. The roads were closed. We had to take the much longer way around. So be aware of this. If you're traveling up there in the winter time, know which roads are open and closed. All right, back to the video. <laughs> Someone needs to level this road out. I'm not sure your GoPro's going to be able to stabilize <laughs> that. This is, I think, what uh, Paul was expecting when we were coming to Arizona. We're just chilling here, got another hour to go, listen to podcasts. Oh, here we go, page 56 miles. Here we are at the lookout, right near Page. There's Paul. That's where we came from. It's crazy, you can see the clouds and the snow and way off in the distance, you can see the snow. That's the rim of the Grand Canyon, that area where we were yesterday. It's kind of funny, you can see some canyons down in front of us. It's about three and a half hours of driving. We only got another 20 minutes to go before we're in Page. Oh, we made it to Horseshoe Bend finally, only two hours after we thought we were going to because of all those closed roads. Oh, 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 spoiler, guys, can't look at that. But uh, we're in Page, Arizona, just walking down the path to the Horseshoe Bend. Should be a nice, easy walk. They said 15 minutes. Um, that's the rest of Page. We'll go check out that afterwards, but Paul and I are excited. You should be too, can't wait to see you there. Huh, that was a little too close. <laughs> Look at Paul, let's see. 10 feet back. That's as close as Paul wants to get. He's got a little vertigo. So that's towards Lake Powell. That way is towards the rest of the Grand Canyon, which you can maybe see. I guess we can call that the Grand Canyon in the distance, but it goes right around that way. A couple, I wonder, you think it's like a couple hundred miles to the actual Grand Canyon? Like not driving, but like following the river. It's a ways, especially if you're just taking the river route, but pretty cool. All right, everyone, you're gonna get the real Horseshoe Bend experience. Well, that was Horseshoe Bend. We survived, it got a little windy near the end. If I was to say one detractor of this whole experience, there's a lot of this, uh, loose sand around so if the wind picks up like it did when we were here it's gonna pelt you in the face pelt you in the ears pelt you all over and that kind of sucked right paul hey adam would you classify this as a road less traveled i'd say this is a walk in the woods look at how nicely paved this is it was 10 minutes i think anyone can make it but yeah sand to the face not so fun but it's a good view so, you know, fingers crossed it's not so windy the day you come. Anyways, on to our next landmark.
And we're here at the next stop, Glen Canyon Dam and Bridge. And this is where they make it into Lake Powell. There's Paul. And there we go. We're gonna go on the bridge right now and take a look at the dam. I'm not sure if you can see Adam or not. He's walking to the middle of the bridge. So Paul didn't like the heights, couldn't hack it, but here we are walking along the bridge and oh, there's the Glen Dam, Lake Powell behind it. I guess it's a long way down, so I understand him being a little scared. They say that you can do tours inside the dam. We won't be doing that today, but hey, if you're staying in Page, want to do some extra things, check that out. Another thing that we're not doing today that you can definitely do when you're in Page is Antelope Canyon. I've done that in the past, cut some pictures of that. That was really good. I really enjoyed when I went to go do that. You want to try and go at a time of day when there's cool shadows and sun playing through the canyon. Anyways, are we in the middle? Oh baby, almost. Looks so big. I think the Hoover Dam is bigger though. So but yeah, this is the dam right at the beginning of the Grand Canyon that stops all the water from flowing through it like normal. I think Lake Powell might be the largest artificial lake in all of the United States, but it's a freaking big dam. What can I tell you? That is big. There it is, I found the slot everyone. The other side, Ooh, long way down. Oh, that's the side that feeds into the Grand Canyon and Horseshoe Bend, where we just were. That's what makes the water so calm and blue. I was reading that before this dam was built, all of the the water down there used to be brown and filled with silt and sediment that was coming down the river from there. As it stands now, all that silt and sediment settles in Lake Powell and doesn't get to go down the river. So it is completely changed the ecosystem and habitat of the river. You know, still enough water goes down and for it to stay a river, but it's not the same as it was before the dam was built. Oh, here we go. Oh, I missed it on the other side. There we go. And there's the bridge I just walked along and there's the Glen Canyon Dam all right here. Visitor center not open today, unfortunately. I think that's because it is New Year's Eve. That might be, that might be why. Or maybe it's COVID, not sure, but it's not open today. But hey, walk along the bridge, sure did the trick. Oh, and there's another good view of the dam. We just found a balcony here on the back of the visitor center. So even though it's closed, we can still get another great view of Glen Dam, which the plaque over there told me was built in 1966. And there's another view of the bridge and oh! Oh, that's a cool view. Lake Powell behind there. Said it was named after a guy who explored the rivers back in the 1800s. So that's what they named the reservoir after. We think those must be internal components of the dam, you know, old ones that have been replaced. And I thought I learned at one point that because they dammed this up, water seeps into the sandstone and starts weeping out the side of the dam because it's not a 100% perfect seal. Over Lake Powell. This is a great spot to see the sunset on a good day. I don't know if today would be one of those days, but If you look the way Paul is, I believe that's Utah. We're right on the border here with Arizona, so Utah has to be somewhere. But this is a favorite little spot of mine up here. That is a beautiful butte, as, as they would say. Now if you see, looking out that way, I believe that's Navajo Mound. I'll go see the sign. I'll correct myself. Yep, confirmed, that's Navajo Mound, that's Arizona. Right where it curves around the bend there, that's Utah. So well, pretty much a lot of that, what we're seeing over there is Utah. We're right on the freaking border. That's how far north we are. I think the reason it's not snowing as much here is, as you can see on Navajo Mound, you have to be much higher up, then you get some snow. What do you think? Pretty cool. 
What's, what was your favorite uh, landmark of today? Of today? Yeah, of all the things we did today, what was your favorite? Well, to be honest, I was feeling the call to the void on the dam. I was feeling the call to the void. Yeah? Big time. So that's not going to be my favorite. But, but, view. <laughs> this is pretty good. This is pretty good? What about Horseshoe Bend? Hear that, folks? Horseshoe Bend number one. But we haven't gone to dinner yet. Maybe that'll be number one. <laughs> Just get some fried chicken. Fried chicken. I want to climb Navajo Mountain so bad, but I don't think anyone is allowed to. It is sacred to the Navajo people. So, this is as close as we can get for now. Very ominous in the distance, though. Fun little spot. Highly recommend. Actually, our final stop of the day, Birdhouse Fried Chicken. Ah, my mouth is watering. Maybe this might be my highlight of the day. I don't know. It's my birthday today, and I am so happy I get to go to my favorite chicken place at Olive Page. Definitely check out Birdhouse if you get the chance. They have this honey butter glaze on the chicken that is something good. Paul is dying here. Oh my gosh, let's let him get to eating. I hope you guys enjoyed today. I hope I do a copyright strike for the music playing in the background, but thank you all so much for watching. More regular hiking videos coming soon. I will see you in Sedona.